a while ago you had a, another caller, I think on a on a Thursday, call in and talk about sort of the um, the libertarian haven that has sort of sprung up in the uh, downtown Portland kind of nightlife area. Um, I don't remember this, but and, go on. Sure. So um, for context, as uh, part of the uh, large amount of kind of George Floyd uh, protests in uh, the from the police uh, um, related protests that happened in Portland, um, some of the city council members sort of, uh, I don't want to say gave in, but, but, uh, answered some of the demands and concerns from the protesters by actually reallocating money away from the Portland police. Um, and as a result, some of the patrols in kind of the, uh, nightlife, uh, area in downtown Portland were significantly reduced. And at, in response to that, a coalition of uh, sort of bar and nightclub owners started hiring their own paramilitary private security groups. Oh, God. Um, to start patrolling the streets to replace these Portland police uh, patrols that had been taken away. Um, and there is a really good article put out by, I believe, Willamette Week um, about it, where they literally quoted uh, one of these uh, paramilitary guys um, after being asked why they had gone into security uh, rather than, um, uh, like actually joining the Portland police. Um, he said, I'd rather die with my boots on than, uh, get old and die in a retirement home with my pension. <laughs> These are the types of people that are now <laughs> patrolling the streets and monitoring the, uh, kind of, uh, the inebriated and and like drunk population um, of the nightlife nightlife district in downtown Portland. Wow, and wow. that's still going uh, on essentially. And that's that's still going on, and and the it it, it kind of highlights a uh, a microcosm of what I feel like is is a problem nationally with. Uh, sort of democratic politics in that um, the money that was reallocated away from the Portland police was actually um, funneled towards addressing some of the homelessness issues that are going on in Portland as well. Um, but because of the, uh, which was uh, the intent that kind of the more, uh, progressive wing of the city council was pushing for. Um, but because of the more kind of moderate neo-lib uh, faction that really is strong within the business-backed community here in Portland, um, they had to make some... Uh, they had to reallocate the money towards the homelessness problems towards organization that they didn't really want to. And the result has been, um, Ted Wheeler really going towards, uh, like camp sweeps, um, and relocation and like anti camping, uh, like infrastructure, like putting yeah. like big boulders and rocks and, planting like rose bushes and like thorny uh, type of things where people would camp um, and using that reallocated money towards those things, which are actually making the problem worse and not towards things like 
housing right. and health care and things that would actually address the problem. Someone named Geek Wonk just wrote in saying, I really need to clarify that we did not reallocate any police money in Portland. The police have simply gone on strike for the last two years. This Portlander has no idea what he's saying. They literally just shuffled funding around for transit policing and stuff like that. Yeah, they did, they shuffled uh, money around. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Absolutely. All right, well, Drew, thanks for keeping us updated on this, and uh, let us know if there's anything else uh, in the future, all right? Sure. Have a good one, man. Bye. Yeah. You know, I don't want to make light of the situation there, but, like, you know, if this were 15 years ago, there'd be a reality TV show about that. Yeah. That had like two seasons called like Bar Patrol or something. Yeah. They had like two seasons and it aired on like Spike TV or some shit. And like if you went back and watched it 15 years in the future, like where we are now, you would know exactly why it got canceled. Because it would just be episode after episode documenting crimes. Yeah, it would be it would be some sort of like offshoot from Bar Rescue. I was just gonna say John Taffer hosting John Taffer hosting the car. Co- oh yes, yeah, you're bringing yourself down just a tiny bit. Yeah, you're screaming. It. Yes, but John Taffer might honestly be like the perfect kind of uh, paramilitary person. Like, he'd be, oh, dude, we are losing Bender all the time right now. Bender is being taken down by the deep state. I mean, it's not operatives. a coincidence that we talked about Tim Pool and. It's not a coincidence that the biggest critic of crypto on this show is mm. constantly being silenced on the internet. 